What up, B Squad? It's me, JB, and I am here today, you guys, with a review for The Traders, you guys. Episode, this is season two, episode number six, you guys. I think this is right. Six. I did not get the title of the episode, you guys, but um, it will be on the screen and it'll be in the um, and it'll be on the screen and it will be correct on the um, on on the, it'll be correct on here and on the upload you guys but before we do get into this episode of the traders if you guys are watching this video or any other on the channel and you guys aren't subscribed yet then i need you guys to do me a huge solid favor you guys and stop taking me out on this date and then having me pay for it at the end of it you guys know the routine you can do me that favor by liking the video subscribing to the channel and also by turning on your post notifications you guys and with that out of the way, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this episode of The Tretas, shall we? All right, you guys, so this episode is titled Backstabbed and Betrayal. Well, Backstab and Betrayal, not, so yeah. All right, you guys, so this episode, you guys remember, in the last one, we ended with the traitors convening to go over who they would be, you know, Ink, ink, this week right and remember in last week's episode dan he needed it he wanted to go after bergie now we all knew and as well we knew bergie knew trichelle knew peter knew and janelle knew that bergie and trichelle had the um had the you know the uh shields last week right so this episode we open up and we get to the breakfast and everybody starts piling in right so they start to wonder like okay who is it gonna be and peter is hoping that the traders took the bait right and in the interviews we see phaedra we see um poverty as well as dan talking about it and they've taken a shot at old Bergy, right? I was like, "Ooh, Dan, that was your downfall right there. Like, you shot yourself by doing that because Bergy has the shield, and you know, got down to the last person, and then the door started, uh, 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 and in walks Bergy, and Dan's face went down." I was like, yeah, you, you took a bold move and you should have, Dan literally should have listened to Parvati because Parvati was absolutely 100% correct. She, you should have went for somebody who was inside of the castle because you knew that all of those people inside of the castle didn't have an opportunity to go for a shield. I don't understand why Dan felt the need. I mean, I get it because Bergie was, you know, Bergie was putting his name out there but that wasn't a smart move because you guys knew that somebody had the shield, but you guys did not know who had the shield at that point. Why not even, here's my thing. Why not go for Kevin? <laughs> that would have been smarter. Go for, go, if, you, if you're going to go for somebody that was outside, right? Granted, I know at the time Bergie was, you know, saying his name, but go for an easy target. <laughs> somebody that no one is going to be like, okay, hmm, maybe. So when they were sitting down, they, you know, Peter told like, so last night, Janelle and I let people know that we had the shield when in actuality, we didn't have the shield. It was Trishel and Bergy who had the shield. And I told three people and so they were looking around and CT said, well, you told me, but you know, I ain't no traitor. And then he was like, yeah. And, I t and then, you know, Dan and Poverty came up and I was like, oh, yeah. Peter got y'all like y'all fell right into Peter's trap and I'm not mad. I'm, 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 I'm amazed. I'm, I'm amazed at Peter. Now you guys know I don't watch the bachelor, so I don't know anything about him at all. So I'm cool with it. Here's one thing that we, I want to say real quick, but we'll pause here and then we'll move forward and not talk about what I want to talk about next. All right, you guys. So here's the one thing that <laughs> is bothering me. Because on social media, on Twitter, so more specifically, everybody is rooting for Phaedra. And it just, oh, 
I'm sorry, you guys. There may be people out there that like Phaedra. I am someone that doesn't like that woman. I don't see it for that woman. I think that woman is despicable. She's a despicable human being, right? And before anybody gets in the comment section, no, this has nothing to do with Candy whatsoever. I don't have, you know, because house other housewives, when they go at each other, if it's, if it's somebody that I like, I don't have, I, y'all go at each other because I don't know y'all. My issue comes with Phaedra because of what she did, you know, tell, and, and, and I had issues with Portia as well. I definitely did, but I had more issues with Phaedra because she was, she's an attorney and you went and told somebody something that was hearsay that you couldn't prove that someone was going to, you know, SA them. And as someone who's been essayed, that's why I'm just never, that's, that's for me why I'll never see it for that woman. She's just not somebody that's going to ever be on my radar. Like, I don't like the fact that she's on Married to Medicine. I just don't like the, I, you know, um, I have not watched any of the Ultimate Girl strips that she's been on because I just don't want to see her. I don't want to, I don't want to see her. I want, I don't want to hear her voice. I detest the woman. I loathe that woman. Because of that, that's my problem with her, right? So, we get to the challenge, and this week's challenge was, it was, was that a catapult? Yeah, it was a catapult. When I saw, when they finally got the catapult, because they had to build a catapult, and they had to, you know, uh, you know, shoot something, shoot, I don't know what you call those things, but you had to shoot it, and it had to hit the uh, target, right? In order for them to win the $20,000, right, this week. Also, there were so this week it's only one shield that's in play so i think there were like i think there were five boxes that you could grab and you would put you would enter yourself into a competition to play for the shields right sheree i will say sheree in this uh episode showed up i was like okay sheree you because you've been sitting around for the last five episodes and Ain't done a lick of shit, ain't, and I mean, nothing, sis. Nothing. Now, they won the $20,000, right? And like I said, there were five boxes that they grabbed. Now, at one point, I know that Kate had a box in her hand, but Peter wanted the safety because Peter now knows that since he's the one that has tricked the traitors, he is up for, you know, eek, 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 right? Now, so it came down to the five people. So it was between Sandra, Sheree, Trishel, Parvati, and Peter. Parvati took one of the shields, to sh took that box, because with Peter now on her trail, she's trying to make it look like she's not a traitor. She wants to make it look like she's a faithful, right? And I was like, okay, cool. So ultimately, Sheree ended up winning the shield. I was like, I'd be damned. Sheree won the shield? Okay, Sheree. Like, you showed you're not useless after all because for the last, like I said, for the last five episodes, girl, you've been kind of like wallpaper. Nothing. Zilch. Nada. Now, we'll pause here, you guys, and go ahead and wrap up the episode. All right, you guys. So, we get to the round table and you guys know Dan is the number one target, right? The thing that I will say about Dan is Dan is an amazing player on Big Brother. You know, he, season 10, he came in and he won season 10, right? Season 14, he came in, he, he was the runner up in season 14. So Dan... Play, like Janelle said in last week's episode, Dan played a game, played the game similar to what he did in Big Brother. And the thing was, I don't think a lot of these people knew how he played the game of Big Brother. Dan's thing was to lay low, but unfortunately it didn't it didn't work for him in this competition, right? Now, here's the thing, you guys, because <laughs> I, I saw these comments about Dan and people feeling like he's threatened by black women. I was like, oh my God. Like do we always have to make everything about race, you guys? I, I, I have that question. Like, do we always have to make everything about race? Because this, I don't think that that was called for. I definitely don't think it was called for. Because 
you know, people, I saw some people who watched Big Brother say he voted season 14, he voted out Jody. If you guys watch Big Brother 14 and you saw Jody, Jody was a weak link and he got rid of her. She was going to, I mean, they were on a team. The woman was the last person. She was in last place. Get rid of the weak link. Like, oh my God, you guys. So yeah, I've saw those comments. I don't like, I don't, well, I don't know. Again, I don't know why we brought race into it, but okay. Like Parvati, yes. I don't know what Parvati's nationality is, but she's not, you know, Caucasian. I don't think she's Caucasian. I could be wrong, but I don't think she's Caucasian. But so yeah, we brought, again, I don't know why we brought race into it, but hey, people have. I'm not because honestly, I want Phaedra gone. <laughs> Personally, that's all I want. I want Phaedra gone, right? So Dan kind of led the round table because he told who he thought he, he's finally speaking up. And I was like, it's a little, it's too little, too late, Dan. What I will say was he, he named two people and two of them happened to be his fellow traders, Parvati and Phaedra. And he put his arrow square on Phaedra. And you guys know, I don't, I don't go up. I'm not, I don't care about Phaedra's reads. They're always rehearsed to me. So, cause y'all know she's going to come at Peter later this season at some point. So I don't give a fuck <laughs> period point blank. I'm not, I'm not impressed by Phaedra. I know everybody on social media was going up for her read <clears throat> again. I'm not impressed by Phaedra Parks. Absolutely not. Cause I feel like she probably planned that one. I'm, Pretty sure she probably had a, a suspicion that he was going to throw her under the bus. Like, I'm pretty positive. What I will say, though, is that with him throwing her under the bus, there's one person that caught on to it, and it was Trishel. Now, Peter still has his eyes on poverty, and I was like, hmm, so could poverty go next? And I'm just still sitting here stuck on stupid, thinking to myself, like, so nobody has suspected Phaedra. Like the woman is an attorney. She's a liar at that. Let's, scratch, let's just take out the attorney part. The woman's a pathological fucking liar. The woman's a liar. I'm gonna repeat it one more time. That woman is a known liar. But nobody's thought about the liar. Okay. Call me stupid, but I would, I, I, I guess because I guess the thing for me is I know her history on Real Housewives of Atlanta. And I'm so shocked that Sheree, <clears throat> Sheree, 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 you have worked with this, this lion woman before. You know what a path, you know what a, a piece of shit she is. And you still ain't thinking that she, Phaedra's a piece of shit. Yes, I, Phaedra's a piece of shit, <laughs> period, point blank. And Sheree ain't thought damn, this bitch lied on candy and, you know, she lied about her due date. I, maybe you, maybe you are a traitor. Girl, Sheree, you ain't worth a hill of beans. You ain't worth a hill of motherfucking beans. So everybody ended up, so the votes came down to uh, poverty as well as Dan and Dan was ultimately sent home and they got a traitor. Finally. So Phaedra and, you know, Parvati, they went to decide who they want to take out. Now, what I was thinking was, I was like, okay, so with Dan gone, <clears throat> that's one less trader. So I was like, would they, will they be able to recruit another trader? And before, you know, Alan went to meet up with Phaedra and <clears throat> before Alan went to meet with Phaedra and Parvati, my, I was thinking in my head, to take somebody out, you don't take Peter out. <clears throat> you don't take Peter out, right? And Peter is now in an alliance. We now see that Peter is in an alliance with Trishel, Bergy, John, and I forgot who else. I think it's five of them. So it's him plus somebody else. And I can't remember if, I can't remember if, if it's CT or what, but there's somebody else in their alliance, right? So at this point, you don't go after anybody in that alliance, right? You attack from the outside. And I was like, so you don't go after Peter because Peter would be obvious. No, that Peter would be obvious and that would be obvious on Parvati's part, right? 
So if you want to take somebody out, you go with someone who uh, would throw would throw them off of your scent, right? So you would go for someone like a Kevin. Um, you can't go after Sheree because Sheree has a shield, right? Go at, go after somebody like Kevin, MJ. Who else do we have? Kevin, MJ, and I think that's really all you can kind of go for at this point because at, at this point, you would be showing your hands. And so Alan met up with them and told them they can either take somebody out or with Dan gone, they can try to recruit someone else. And I was like, okay, if you recruit someone, and I was thinking this before Parvati even said it, tempts, I would tempt Peter. I would really tempt Peter because he's now, he's he has an alliance, right? So at that point, he would have to he would have to switch up his game and that would that would put him on his toes a little bit right so i thought about that i'm like mm, that would be a good thing to do now again we know that peter and phaedra are going to because she's going to say that you know she's not on a bachelor and she's not looking for a rose for him so we know that he's going to stay in the game now will he become a traitor or not is the question and i feel like he's going to become a tra- I feel like Peter's going to become a traitor. I do believe Peter might turn into a traitor. I'm here for it. I don't know if that'll help Parvati, but because now his side, and I think that they have the numbers, so I think Parvati's goose is cooked. If they can sway, if they can sway it towards someone else, we'll see. But let me know what you guys thought about this episode if you watched it in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel, you guys. Turn on your post notifications and share the video, you guys. And until the next time, stay safe, take care of yourselves, wash your hands, be blessed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.